Never Stop Learning, week 142. We're going to take a look at how to create some basic actions and use the button mode feature in your actions panel of Adobe Photoshop. So here I have this document and I just got this logo floating around. I'm going to use this to create some alignment actions. So if you look over here in the upper right, you see I'm in the Essentials workspace. So this should look pretty much how Adobe Photoshop looks when you first launch it. In order to find your actions panel, what you want to do is come to the top in the Windows menu. You'll scroll down and you'll find Actions. Now I'm on a MacBook Pro and it's showing me that I have a keyboard shortcut of Alt F9. But I'm just going to click on Actions and you see it brings up this Actions panel. Now this isn't the best spot for me because when I click on the Properties or History, you see it goes away. I actually want this guy to stay up so I'm going to click and drag to bring the panel out. And I'll leave my History over here, that's fine. But I'm going to click and drag on Actions and when I hover over these panels here, you see they get highlighted. So when I release, now it's going to be part of this group. I'm just going to click and drag here to extend this part of the panel a little bit further. All right, great. So here you see all these default actions, but I'm not going to use any of these guys. I'm actually going to get rid of these. If you want to use them, that's great, but I'm going to get rid of them so that it doesn't look so cluttered in here. So in the flyout menu, I got this option here for clear all actions. Then I get this warning here. I'm going to click OK and that's fine. They're all gone. If you want to bring them back, just go back into this flyout menu and choose Reset Actions. When you click on it, it brings all your default actions back. So not to worry, you can bring them back whenever you want. I'll clear these guys out, click OK. Now I'm set. Now we can start recording some brand new actions. So what you want to do is create a new action set. I'm going to click on this button here and I'm going to call this guy Alignment. All right, I'll click OK because we're going to create a couple alignment actions. While I have this guy targeted, I'm going to click on this button here to create a new action. Once I click on it, I get all these different options. So first I get the option of naming it. So I'm going to create an action to slam this logo to the bottom left of my document. So I'm going to call this bottom left. Here I could choose a set because I only have the alignment set. That's going to be fine for me. Here I have the function key options. So if I set it to F1, it'll now be on my F1 key. I could even add a shift or command modifier. But because I don't want to overwrite any of my existing F keys, I'm going to leave it set to none. But this option is here for you if you want to use it. Next you see we have this coloring option. It's set to none by default, but I'm going to set it to blue and you're going to see how this is going to help us out later on. I'll click record and now I'm good to go. So if you look over here in this actions panel, I have a stop button. You see it's recording already. And then I have a play button here that's grayed out. It's just grayed out because I'm already recording. Now, because I'm recording, one thing to keep in mind is your speed has nothing to do with this. Uh, the only reason I mention that is whenever I see the little record button, I feel like I have to speed up and do everything pretty fast. You don't have to speed up. Accuracy is way more important. So I'll just come over here and start doing some of my action. What I want to do is select all. So I did a command A and that selects my entire document. Over here, I'm going to slam this guy to the bottom and then to the left. All these actions are being recorded over here in the panel. I'm going to hit command D and you see it took care of all that for me. Now you want to make sure you stop recording once you're set. So here if I twirl this down, you see it set the selection to none, but in the beginning, and set the selection to all. All right, so we have this guy already ready to go. And let's see how we could do this again. All right, so I'm going to come over here, create a new action. This time I'm going to slam it to the upper right. So I'll go upper right. We'll leave it in the alignment set. I don't want a function key, but uh, keeping with my color codes, I'm going to set it to blue. I'll hit record. Now it's going to start recording my action. So command A to select all. I'm going to come over here to align it to the right and we'll come over here to align it to the top and then I'm going to deselect. It's all recorded over here in the actions panel. So then I'm going to hit stop and I'm ready to record a new action. All right, so let me just tuck this guy away. I like tucking him away to keep everything nice and neat in here. So this way I don't get confused. I'll come back over here, create a new action. This time I'm going to center this logo. So I'm going to hit center this please and I'll do some exclamations. The only reason I'm doing this is to make sure like name it whatever you want, whatever works best for your workflow. If you just want them to be very descriptive like the ones we have over here in the actions panel, great. If you want them to be something more like this where it's actually telling you to do something, that's fine too. Whatever works best for you. All right, so I want this in my alignment set, no F keys, 
and I want this to be blue. Great. I'll hit record. I'm going to do command A to select all. I'm going to center it and then center it again. This time I'm going to accidentally forget to deselect. I'll hit stop and it already recorded my action for me. All right, so let's deselect this guy. I'll tuck this one away and let's see what we've been creating. So I'll come over here to highlight. First you have to highlight this action and then click on the play button. When I click on the play button, you see it runs that action for me lightning fast. I'm going to select this upper right action, hit play, and it takes care of everything for me right away. Let's come over here to center this, please. All right, click on play. You see it runs that action for me, but it's still selected here. I don't want it to be uh, selected anymore. So I'll come back into this actions panel, twirl this guy down, and I, I want to deselect after this last step. So I want to highlight this step click record and then command D to deselect and you see it's recorded that action for me I'll hit stop and now it's been updated so let's run this upper right guy and we'll run this center this again when I hit play you see it's in the center of my document and is no longer selected alright great so we've just been creating alignment actions but we could do all sorts of actions uh, I'm gonna create a new one and this time I wanted to actually rasterize this layer so I'll go ras rasterize. I'm going to leave it in the alignment set. No F keys. This time, instead of setting it to blue, I want to set it to red because for me, this is a destructive action and I want to make sure it's called out as such. So I'll hit record and it's going to start recording all my actions. So I'll come over here to this layer, right click on it, and then I'm going to scroll down until I find rasterize layer. When I click on it, you see it's been recorded over here in my actions panel. And then I'll hit stop and we're good to go. The next action I want to record is to create a smart object because I do that all the time too. So smart object. I'll leave it in this alignment set because I don't have any other sets here. And I don't have to set it to red because it's not destructive, but I could go with an orange or a yellow. Again, whatever works best for your workflow. I'm going to leave mine set to orange and I'll click record. All right, so come back over here to the layer panel, right click on the layer and scroll down until you find convert to smart object and you see it's updated here in the actions panel I'll hit stop and now we're all set alright great so we have several different actions here that we've created so far now I don't want to lose these or maybe I want to share them with somebody else so you want to save these guys off so come over here to the flyout menu when you click on it scroll down to you find this section here now at the bottom of the stack you're gonna find save actions but you see it's grayed out that really confused me the first time I saw that so let's see what's going on I'm gonna hit escape and what you want to do is actually target that set. Now that it's highlighted, come back into the flyout menu. And when you find this section again, you're going to see it has save actions ready for you. It says save actions dot dot dot. So when you click on it, it brings up a window. Now here, I'm choosing where to save my actions. I have a folder I created called tools, Adobe presets. And because it's a Photoshop thing, I'm going to go into this Photoshop folder. You see it's already named alignment because that's what I named it over here in this panel. But you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to leave it set to alignment. I'll click save and now it's saved on my system. You can save it wherever you want, right? So come back over here to the flyout menu. Clear all actions. Click OK. Now they're gone. Well, if you want to bring those guys back up, come over here to the flyout menu. And then you want to choose this option for load actions. You click on that. You see it. You find it here in your system. So I'll click on alignment, open, and now it's back here in my actions panel. So up until now, we've been looking at this panel in the standard mode. We have these foldering systems where you could twirl these guys down and see all your separate actions. But sometimes this could get a little confusing for me. And that's kind of why I didn't really use actions as much before. But then with talking to my buddy, Andrew Cavanaugh, he told me about button mode. So you come over here to the flyout menu, and at the very top you see button mode. When you click on it, you see your panel changes up a lot. This looks really cool. So this is where the coloring system comes in. You see all these blue guys are my alignment. And I have this red one for rasterize and this orange for smart object. So let's try these guys out. I have my layer selected here. If I want to slam this logo to the bottom left, I just click on it, upper right. If I center it, and it's a smart object, so I could actually rasterize it or turn it back into a smart object. And there you go. All you have to do is click on the action and Photoshop runs that action for you. These were very basic actions, but you can make them as complicated as you want or as simple as you want. 
name them whatever you want. Just keep in mind, it's your workflow. Make it work for you. And that's how you record some basic actions and use the button mode feature under the actions panel of Adobe Photoshop.